Motherhood was really, really hard for me in the beginning. Crying in a fetal position sometimes at night, craving wine really badly. And you feel very resentful for your husband because you feel like he's not doing enough. That was me. Hey there, Casey Ship here, fitness model hormone expert and a master energy healer. I help goal-oriented women clear out the reason why nothing has worked and finally step into their purpose and do everything they've ever wanted. I had kids and I knew that I wouldn't be able to work out as much. You know, you're just so tired as well. I was living on coffee. I spent over 50 grand going to naturopaths, functional medicine doctors, endos, gynos. I've done the saliva test, the Dutch test, the gut test, the poop test. Like you have no idea. And not a until I found out about this one thing that no other weight program ever addressed that I find success and I figured it out. My blood work is better than that of a 20 year old, healed adrenal fatigue, low thyroid. When a lot of doctors was actually telling me you're normal. Girl, my hair was falling out, no libido, constipated. I had cravings. If you feel like any of those things, it's one of the reasons why we don't look like what we want to look like. So if you're tired of things being freaking hard, take action. Check out the free training. It's going to tell you which way you should go to figure out what kind of strategy you need. You can use this strategy with yourself, by yourself, with us, or with another practitioner. Uh, but today, a reversing aging. So a little story time. I know a woman who is a, she's like we are. I mean, she's got a lot on her plate. She goes, 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 does everything. She's basically like a single mom. You know, you know, the type of woman that, um, this was like me back in the day, very codependent. We've been together 16 years and I always felt like, God, I wish I had another wife. Um, and I, you could just hear me de emasculating him through the videos. If you just watch my past videos, like how I used to talk to him. Um, and I felt like he was just, he never understood it. He never did enough. I was always having to do everything. I felt like I would even say, uh, I have three kids. One's 40 and the other two are babies. Like I consider my son a child. And that right there, if I would have known back then was one of the reasons keeping me um, looking old and not hitting my health goals, I would have listened sooner. So listen up. That's just one. If you feel like any of those things that I just mentioned, it's one of the reasons why we don't look like, you know, what we want to look like. I can explain deeper. If you go into my content, I'm going to give you just a little bit today because I don't want to bore you and be here forever. But I noticed that, um, one of these ladies was starting to just, you know, get like the rest of us sometimes it gets stuck you know, in these ruts. And she didn't even know that she was in a rut. She just knew that, you know, like when you're on a roll and then you get off and you find yourself waking up late, um, not being on schedule, um, things kind of feel like kind of crazy and you kind of like are beating up on yourself because you didn't go all out in the gym or you didn't get to work out. But you remember, you know what I'm talking about when you get in that energy? Well, that means you're in a rut. That means you're in a rut. That's all that means. And the thing that I usually prescribe for that women struggle with because of some underlying emotional blocks that I call trauma. And I share that with you in the training that I'm going to give you. But I noticed that she was slipping into a rut. She didn't notice this. She didn't notice this. She just knew that she was like kind of off schedule, not getting enough sleep, feeling like she's got to do this. Kids start back to school. Like, how do I do it all? Lots going on. A lot, lack of focus, you know, lots going on. And, and so she was in a rut. First of all, that means you're in a rut. Just, just know that. Check it. Write it down. That means that you're in a rut. Now, how you get out of a rut, and I teach this inside of my program, inside of my mastermind, is you have to go back because success leaves clues. Throughout life, I mean, anybody, any guru will tell you success leaves clues. So you got to go back to when you were feeling great and, and doing the thing and proud of yourself. What were you doing? Go back. Go look at your phone messages. Go look at emails. Go see what supplements you were on. Were you on hormones? I can't tell you how many times women come in, work with the program, um, a small piece of it. Because if they, if you, you, hormones are just one missing piece of the puzzle. You can't just do hormones and think that everything's going to change. You have to do what's beneath the hormones. What made the hormones get off? The hormones are like the lens and how you look at life. If your hormones are low, you're going to look at life low. Not enough money, not enough time, feeling stressed, unfocused. If hormones are balanced and up, you have energy, more positive outlook, right? All these things. And I'm not saying negativity is bad. We all have negativity. And we have to embrace that, but you get what I'm saying. So she was on addressing her hormones. She was about to turn 40. She was committing to herself. She was committed. She committed before her birthday and said, I'm going to do this. And so she went to bed on time. She made sure she had proper help. She was just focused and she was also doing the hormones. Guess what else she was doing? That's a little secret. That's in my free training. She was addressing emotional blocks. She was spending time daily 
doing things, not like journaling or sitting here chanting on. We have specific strategy, like stra strategic, um, how do I word this? It's a process. It's just a strategy in teaching emotional intelligence so that you can untangle crap before it happens. She was doing all that. I'm trying to get you over here because the phone's heating up. Um, she was doing all that while she was focusing on herself. So what do you think happened when she's spending time with her emotional body, working on her mind? Your mind is like the engine of a car. You can buff the outside, which is like diets. You know, you can get on diets. You can train, change trainers, do new macros, try new doctors. All that is the equivalent of buffing the outside, putting the new upgrades on the outside of the car. If you don't address your heart and your feelings and your emotions in which that drive you or don't drive you to do the things you know you need to be doing, Okay, will the car even function? So don't you want to work on your engine, right? Exactly. So she was doing that. She was doing the mind work, the soul work, but so that the engine and everything inside and the navigation system would work to get the car to where it needed to go. Because if you don't do that, now you've got a funky system. Some things may go wrong. You're, because things are going wrong, it's going to tell the navigation system to go a different place. That's what happens when you don't address the emotional and mind. You start feeling bad, feeling low energy, and you start making decisions out of that low energy. Not enough time, so you're going to do something to cut because you don't have enough time. That's going to compound over time and create poop. I can't cuss on here because, you know, you see what I'm saying? So you have to take it way, way back. Go back to what, what were you doing when you were getting results? Okay? And go do that. Go do that again. And do more of it this time. And the next time you go to stop doing, because I'm sure a lot of you have relevant reasons for why you stopped doing what you were doing to get results. This is the epitome of self-sabotage. If you go back and do the same things you were doing, and the second before you switch, get off, stop, whatever, instead of doing what you did last time, which was stopping, aborting all ships, aborting yourself, find somebody that knows what they're doing and say, hey, I'm at a roadblock again. Last time I did this, it didn't, it got me in a rut. How, what are some other things that I could do here to get the same re end result without, you know, feeling like that? That expert, that mentor, that person, that they're going to tell you exactly a different path to go because there's multiple paths to get to one place, by the way. Okay. So go back and do that. Okay. Go back, start doing those things and do it more. You got it? I did not say go back to a strict diet and eat less. I did not say that. Odds are, if you look back, you're probably watching what you're eating, making sure you're waking up at a certain time, going to bed at a certain time, saying no to certain things, asking for more help because you're not a martyr. Look about my lips. This is from my man. You know, this this is from my, my honey. Okay? I don't have fillers in here. I just have some Dysport and Botox, Okay? All right, so if you go back and look at my photos, you can just see my eyes look really tired and like I just, my energy was uh, very like very, I'm abrasive now. I was very abrasive then, kind of angry, very kind of borderline angry. Um, and it was just bad. And my body looks better now. I'm not as conditioned, right, because I'm not starving myself, but my body, my, the way my butt looks, um, I, I just look better now. I mean, I got on the cover of a magazine after I healed all this, not in my 20s. So there was something to that, right? So addressing your hormones to match that of or better than a 20-year-old, we can do that. But that's not really going to fix it. To, to get rid of, like, um, the flab and, like, create that fullness, there's a lot of hormonal tweaks that most people do not have the resources to understand or even do. We have that, but more importantly, it's, about eating enough, making sure that you're rebooting your metabolism in a natural way. And the biggest part is actually in my training, okay? It's in the free training, caseyship.com forward slash register. And I'll give you a little spiel here. You know the mindset emotional I was talking about? It's that. <clears throat> it is, and you know they say this about women in their 40s. They're like, you'll, you'll reach a point where you don't care anymore. And that's, that, that is so liberating and free because you get to a point where you're starting to go through that menopause. See, I've had a total hysterectomy, so I'm already like I'm 50-something, right? Like, me, like emotionally. I've, I've, I've had to process what it's like to not be a reproductive person anymore. <coughs> I've just created new things. But 
Um, well, we could go off on a whole other thing on that one, boy, couldn't we? Well, my mind just started going off in way another place. But menopause, oh, wait, 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 what I was saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? I forget. I don't know. <laughs> um, cactus over there. I probably should be back on my ADD medication. But anyway, I was in a flow. Obviously, it's, maybe it's not important. Yes, it is. So the mindset emotional that I was talking about earlier, that's one of the things that can turn back the clock. Um, doing a lot of the healing work, I know, I know a lot of you are going to roll your eyes at this, but what have you have? What do you have to lose? You know, look at what's going on around you. You got to weigh your ego with what's going on. You got to weigh your ego with the pants and the non bikinis that you're wearing. You got to weigh your ego with what your relationship's like right now because you don't feel confident in your body. You got to weigh your ego with you sitting back looking at everybody else getting promotions but not you. All right, weigh your ego with that, and maybe you will have a change of mind, heart, and all that stuff. So addressing these things will call in a level of compassion for yourself that you've never even experienced in your whole life, I can promise you. And when that happens and you find out all these things that you never knew existed and were available to you, everything shifts. The and, and, okay, let me explain it to you like this. You know, like if somebody is angry and they walk around with their fist balled up or, you know, science shows that if you're angry, you're going to uh, grit your teeth a lot. You're going to, you may struggle with a certain um, <clears throat> jaw, you know, issue, stress. Also, you can, you know, TMJ, um, people that have low self-esteem tend to slouch. You know, they have like posture, science. I mean, postures, there's science around postures and emotions, right? <clears throat> So if that is true, which it is, what if you could undo that posture, energy of feeling low self-esteem slouched over and create confidence where you stand up higher? So the same things work with muscles in your body. Can you imagine going through life in survival mode? Not enough time, not enough. I got to eat less, got to do more cardio, got to do this because I'm insecure. My husband's going to do that. He's looking at her. That creates certain tension in your body. And when you start doing the work that we teach in Hot Moms that we address in the free training, we show you how to do this. And as you start doing the work that would take you years, it, I mean, maybe maybe you could people could go to the grave and never get this. I mean, it's like it's like a plant medicine in a in a mastermind program. Like you could it's and you can do it totally just with what you have right now. And you start to unwind these things that you never knew existed. It's very empowering. Things start to shift immediately. We can promise women that they will shift within 24 hours. We have it, we have it to where you say you will feel different 24. Watch this, this, and this. And once you figure out these things that I've learned, it's like magic. But it's all science-based and emotion-based, right? But it feels like magic. And you unlock this thing that you never knew existed... And before you know it, you will start carrying yourself different. You start looking different. And people say, you know, what are you doing? You change. That's how you reverse the clock. And you know, you, people say it. Dude, she looks like she's rode hard and put up wet. <clears throat> it's because she's lived a hard life. <clears throat> she's been in, you know, just hasn't taken care of herself is what that means. Okay? That's what that means is she hasn't taken care of herself. So when you start to take care of yourself, you look like you take care of yourself because you're going to love yourself more. I know that sounds Tony Robbins like. I didn't understand this. I would roll my eyes at everything. I'll be like, I feel fine. I feel fine. What do you mean I'm stressed? I had alexithymia straight up where you can't, you can't feel. You don't even know. You just know things are freaking hard. So if you're tired of things being freaking hard, then go register. Take action. Only action takers get results anyway. Check out the free training. It's going to tell you which way you should go and what you should do to figure out what kind of strategy you need. You can use this strategy with yourself, by yourself, with us, or with another practitioner. Whatever works. Coach, whatever you want to call us. Um, so, yeah, I would highly take advantage of that. If you apply, if you if you qualify, book the call. But if not, take the next. It, it'll send you to the right place. But first, before that, go register for the main training because I show you exactly what I'm talking about. I break it down a little more like on a, on a uh, easel, like a piece of paper so you can see what I'm talking about. Because you know if something's wrong. You know if you're in a rut earlier that I told you. Things aren't working out, waking up late, can't get on a schedule, can't stay focused. Your body feels like you feel like you're dropping the ball, um, missing things and feeling like you've got to choose. That means you're out of alignment. That means that you're in a rut. 
Let's get you out of the rut. Go to caseyship.com forward slash register and I'll see you on the inside. This is it. I've got a free training, caseyship.com forward slash register. Be sure to grab that and then join my free Facebook group and just reach out. Struggle is not required. So hit me up caseyship.com forward slash register. Talk to you soon.